morning, my ride and eyes. It's your girl Susie, the CEO of Moon Swings and the mother of all van queens. I'm your meteorologist for today, and the weather forecast is gray and cloudy. I've been just packing. I've been just packing all my stuff because I'm flying to Mexico tomorrow. I have this bag, just one, and I'm not sure. I really don't know how I can fit everything inside. Jalapeno. Are we packing? Well, first of all, I will go to Amsterdam, take my flight from there. And I even got a carrier for Peño. Of course, he's gonna come with me. I mean, would you expect anything else? You know what I got today as well? It's an Apple tag. And I got it on Peño's collar because as you know, I love to let him running around freely. So I got this just in case. I need to find him, I have to search for him. And I have the same thing just to put inside of my van in case my van gets stolen but first of all i think i will start with the clothes because they will be all the way down and i already bought like got some summer clothes so when i arrive there it's gonna be 35 degrees i don't know how much fahrenheit that is and most of the time it's just short dresses and tops that i have and then i have some bikinis a skirt this is way too small. I don't know how to do that. Oh, I have to roll it up. You know the technique when you roll the clothes up and they and you kind of save a bit more space when you do that? What do you what you really know about? It's gonna be so heavy. <laughs> I don't want to carry all that. <sighs> I'm not a backpack, I'm a van life. <laughs> Stack it up and let it breathe Talk about stability Dominance a guarantee What do you, what you really know about me? Do you really see me? Do you really see me now? If only you could hear me out We could be something like a harmony Stack it up and let it breathe Talk about stability Dominance is a guarantee Guys, I know you can't see But look who is there Look who is there <laughs> Oh nobody Oh no <laughs> Did I exceed the hand luggage? Yes I did <laughs> Can you too fat and buddy as well to actually go on the airplane? Yes, they are. Are we still trying? Absolutely. <laughs> so I have about four bags and one dog with me. Who said I need a man? Who said I need a man? And we finally made it into a Uber and we're gonna go now to our hotel. And just relax because I've walked way too much and I'm super exhausted. Made 17,000 steps. Everything was just ending up getting so much more expensive. Then there was just like super many costs on top of what we actually thought would be. At least like 500 more. At least 500 more. Guys, we arrived at the hotel at the airport. We are totally exhausted. I'm exhausted. And, uh, Let's just get into our home. D, please relax. Please relax. <laughs> I can't. I'm tired and dead. Please. Stop it now. <laughs> Stop it now. <laughs> Watching Chinese news, guys. <laughs> That's the life with Susie Cruz. <laughs> Hello, Penny. We can see you. Hello, Penny. We could see you. Oh. Why are you here? Oh, that was fast. How did you do that? <laughs> Toby's absolutely astonished about the Chinese culture and how they just easily peel um, a goat feed, you know? It's like just casually, the cute little girl is just peeling it. And Toby is like devastated, like how? But it's like the culture, you know? And it's different just. But then, then they just grow up like like right now he's so open and we're just watching this Chinese show and he's like that's a completely new different world right he doesn't know anything about it and I just love that because that's the reason to grow no you know what I mean mm. like you just open your eyes your horizon to see that 
other things are different and it's okay the way it is because it's just the way it is and I just love that you are so open-minded to it and you sit here like so curious like I have no like, idea really what like, they're talking about but I can see it and then I feel like I know what they say traveling and watching documentaries like this just gives you such a better understanding for different people and how they grew up and the minds and thoughts they have I may wear such gold <laughs> now I mean like how cool is that you just go with your bestie with both of your two vans yeah. to Mexico no actually seriously that's so cool like ask me five years before I would have never thought uh, at some point I will ever travel with a van with like my bestie really? together and he in his van and travel yeah, the, I think, yeah. to, Mexico. to Mexico no like seriously five years ago I looked at some of those YouTube was like oh how cool imagine getting paid for traveling mm. that's what I thought yeah yeah and now I mean we don't get paid for traveling but we still made yeah. it come true in some way yeah. you know we worked it out yeah. and now like you're really living it right <laughs> <laughs> and although I was happily packing up all my stuff, we were still going a big risk deciding to fly to Mexico with both of our dogs because we didn't want to put them underneath to the cargo with the airplane where all the luggages were. So what we did was booking an airplane ticket with the dogs both on board, but both of them were slightly a couple kilos too heavy. So we were risking it knowing that maybe both of us or one of us couldn't fly. Here. Here. Show me, show me what you're wearing, please. Show me what you're wearing. Ride or die. These sweaters belong to my new merch. Click the link in the description box, and you can get access to them. What are we gonna do, huh? If we don't pass. Anybody ready? Actually, look at this concerned face. <laughs> we just like <laughs> to hopefully pass. Look at how concerned he is. I don't even want to. We're at the airport. We made it. Now you, I mean, we made it. We we made it with the dogs. Look at Peño. Look. <laughs> Are you ready? I didn't even put you there. You just, you excited for the flight? Well, I wasn't too stressed. I had a good feeling, but Toby was yeah. definitely on the edge. Toby was so on the edge because he was made it. We can go to Mexico with the dogs and then reunite with our vans again. It's so fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Peño. <laughs> Did we made it? We made it with our doggies. What the f? What the f? I have to be honest with you guys, straight honesty. If we didn't fly, if we didn't just fly from Amsterdam, I don't think we would have been flying to Mexico. The people here were so nice. Jalapeno, are you human or why are you sitting on this chair? What's going on? No, Penny, do you know you're going to fucking Mexico? Like, no, n really, r not many dogs get to get the chance, hey? Bobby, buddy, Penny, and we are in the airplane, guys. See you in Mexico. Penny, you're so chilled, aren't you? You're so used to just being in airplanes and <laughs> cars. You're just chilling, aren't you? We're moving. Okay, see you in Mexico. <laughs> How does it feel to time travel, Toby, again? The 19th again. We are arriving and they are just, um, you know, checking the dogs. We arrived. We arrived in Mexico fucking here. Love's kind of Love the lies and truth and sweet